what did you think of the show? Did you ch get a chance to check them out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw them and saw fucking Jason. Man, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, they guys are really fucking tight. <laughs> Like a young band like this, like these guys, right? Yeah. Um, since the music climate has changed so much, yeah. Right. Like, how the hell do you get noticed in the in the music environment the way it's the way it is today? What you do know, you tell a band like this? You know what? To be completely honest with you, when I left Escape the Fate and started a new band, I often thought that myself, I'm like, how do I do this again? Like, what what do I do? And it's really just kind of like it's a lot more footwork than it used to be. It's more of like getting out there and like almost like stalking a little bit, like knowing like what bands are playing where, like, you know, fucking get going online, figuring out like who their, who their label people are, recognizing them at a show, handing something to them, and just submitting, submitting, submitting. And, and how important is social media to like, how, how important was it to escape the fate? Um, of you guys breaking. You, you know, actually, we got signed because um, this lady who worked at Epitaph Records, her uh, nephew or something like that, um, was a fan of the band and found us on MySpace back in the day. And then um, they contacted us just because we, we like we went we put out a video on our own. We did um, you know de good sounding demos on our own, stuff like that. Paid for it all. Um, did a couple West Coast tours on our own. And uh, that's how they found us, was through social media, through MySpace. And then they went and emailed us and asked for a meeting, asked if they could come out and watch a show or two. And then that's how it all kind of started. So it's, you know, it's very important, super important. And uh, what do you, what's Escape the Fade up to? <laughs> well, uh, I just came back to the band, uh, and fuck, we just got 12 five years death punch, and we had to cancel Europe because our singer had a kid, a baby boy, and uh, now we're going on tour with Fong in Reverse in January, and I'm recording my new band's album called Violent New Breed, so listen for that. Everyone should listen to it 24-7 every day because it's the best thing ever. And that's when that. is that going to be out? Uh, in 2014, probably within the first like four months of 2014. And you're producing that? Uh, me and my buddy Kevin Thrasher, he's playing lead guitar in Escape the Fate right now. And uh, he's helping me uh, work on all the songs. And then uh, I'm currently got a management deal with Century Media, and that's awesome. Was there, was there a concert for you growing up that was kind of pivotal in your adolescence that you could point to that was like, this is why I want to play music? You know, I wasn't allowed to go to concerts when I was younger. I wasn't allowed to at all. I didn't go to my I didn't go to my first concert until I was like kind of it was probably like my own show. <laughs> it was like my first concert I went to. And uh, but like I just I don't know, I, I didn't have many friends growing up. I moved around a lot, so it was just kinda like me and my radio and my mirror and I would just rock out of my mirror and playing air guitar and like I just knew. It was like that was like my best friend was my radio. This is Max Ripper from Escape the Fate and you're rock <laughs> you're watching rockerazzi.com. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my